Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so importantly for always tuning in. I really do appreciate. If you're the first time you are coming across us, or you are hearing our voice for the first time, we still remain your one and only, ever ready, bringing it to you, as you all know. So, my wonderful family, without not wasting much of your time, today I just want us to do quick, quick. Ha! With the level age of Ogagoro, now, and the Jofo still in this case of Onyendu. <laughs> ha! I want every Biafrans to rise up against a Jofo to leave the case alone. Today, 7th of June, 2021, early this morning, we discovered the car belonging to barrister Ifanyi Ijofo and the body of his PA, Samuel Okoro. Very unfortunate the the well planned premeditated attack of course a very well planned a plan of man uh -huh. he's still he's uh, exposing himself here a jofo well planned how did a jofo know that the attack in his house is well planned what does what does a jofo mean by well planned premeditated attack on my ancestral home what did, what does a jofo mean by well planned well planned attack where only one person was killed. It's really well planned. Because what it means is that the attack was well, well planned. Targeted at killing one person. And that person was killed. And that person is Mr. Samuel Okoro, a.k.a. Gentle Biggie. Here, I just wrote it. So, I want you people to now begin to think. I just first say, is a very unfortunate, well-planned, premeditated attack on my ancestral home. And I agree with him. I agree. It was well-planned. Because if it was not well-planned, there are going to be other casualties now. There are going to be other victims. You are going to have other victims. So it was well-planned. Well this was when they were, even Arokashima as in the canon, when they were planning against him to kill everybody that could stand and fight for him before they capture him, kidnap him in Kenya. So they killed Samuel Okoro, who was shot and consequently injected with lethal substance before being set ablaze in my car. I do not know how a Jofo find out that he was shot, injected with lethal substance, and being set ablaze in my car. The camera finally showed a Jofo where he was being injected with lethal substance, and then after that, they now burnt him alive. Or an eyewitness who was watching Gentle being injected in the midnight through the camera, a Jofo saw that injected him, or through autopsy of uh, somebody that uh, was born to ashes. They did autopsy, autopsy showed that he was injected by substance. I do not know where a Jofo find out that it he was injected, so maybe he is still alive. A Jofo is still alive to tell us. How did he arrive at this particular decision of being injected without having knowledge of how he was going to be killed? Or without the people that carried the killing telling him how they did, how they killed the gentle and before he was set ablaze? I, you know, like I said, I have not read the whole report. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, if... Uh, if uh, uh, the report to say that they went to hospital, they took his body, they do autopsy, and they did everything, and everything shows that 
There was an injection, lateral injection. They injected him before they put him, uh, you know, set him ablaze. I do not know. <laughs> so if there is something like that, I don't know. But my question is, how did the Geofo knew that he was injected before being set ablaze? First of all, a Geofo say he was shot after they shoot him. A Geofo say they injected him with injection. After that, a Geofo say they set him ablaze. So maybe somebody, those people that were released, was watching as the killers were doing all these things. It is possible. As I'm talking to you today, a Geofo has been compensated for this particular heinous crime. A Geofo has not come publicly to show his genuineness and Onye Biafra, not fight in the Biafra. A Geofo have not come to show the public how generous he is as somebody that his PA was killed after the Nigeria government compensated him. A Geofo did not come openly to say, eh, they have given compensation. I am giving this to the family. So that the whole world will hear how good heart a Geofo is to give the family of this person from a bony state to compensate his family. I beg if a Geofo, because you know, I am not seeing everything on social media, <laughs> but this is the kind of thing that will never skip me. <laughs> but if he has done it, that a Geofo has come publicly to say, this judgment of the court, they awarded 50 million naira to me. So from this 50 million, I am giving the family of this my PA 40 million naira. I know that money cannot break his life back, but for the family's sake and everything he has done for me as a PA, I'm giving the family 40 million. I didn't read anything like that. If you if a Jofo has like that, please pardon me. Uh, uh, because I, I'm saying it now. I don't know. You know, I don't I don't come to I cannot just come to start lying or to blackmail him or just you know, no. Everything I'm saying is something that is verifiable. I use you, they say, if you do anything, I will use it, it is gonna be used against you. Gentle was not PA. They claim gentle is speaking, but that is that is that is by the way. So I want you people to ask a Jofo, what did you do to the family of this man who is your PA? If you people know impunity, Simon Ekpamerunquado called to support Mazinam the Kano all these years of betrayal in Biafra struggle. That's why they unleash all their all their evil and uh, evil on me. And believe me, anybody you go to to harm me, the person will not do anything. You will not do anything. You will just collect your money. <laughs> collect it has been happening. I didn't it will, except the person is not matching his food in Biafra soil. Abba Amundu with Anna. Abba Amundu with Anna. Abba Amundu with God. So if you go to do against me, open a camu de ocha and a keba giozubo and a lego geria, you will bring more. They will eat it. You will bring more. The only very soon you will start quarreling them. All these things I'm giving you people. Why Samanepa is not running crazy now? Why Samanepa have not died now? Why this one? I will not die because I, my hands are clean. You can never do anything to me. So it's your form must step down. This is Aka Kankana Koyanozo. Until he stepped down from the legal team and let other people, where Mazinam the cannot come, let him come and crucify me. I will tell him that I was defending and fighting for his best interest. That made me to be doing what I'm doing. Because with a Jofo in this legal team, ha, all I know that it is not going to be a small fight too. <laughs> hey, with Barisen in this case, ha, with the level a Jofo Gagoro. Now, and the Jofo still in this case of Onyendu. <laughs> ha! I want every Biafrans to rise up against a Jofo to leave the case alone. It is not me. It is not about me. And the reason why it is going to help Onyendu is that every, you have you, have you ever seen a lawyer, Jimako, writing that everybody must calm down? Have you seen a lawyer, Jimako, writing that people, Biafra people, go asleep, we are fighting. Onyendu is going to come out. Have you seen a lawyer, Jimako, that? Have you seen Mike Ezekome telling Biafrans 
to come. Mike Ezokome was shouting and telling Nigeria, if you want peace, release Majin Amdekano, but the Jofo is doing the opposite. If you if you have seen a lawyer Jimako telling Bia France to go inside and sit her and sit her and sit down, I don't know, but I have, I have, not, I have not come across that. A Jofo should know that Majin Amdekano say, We are mad for this uh, struggle. We are mad though. Huh. He said, if it is only him, they will say he's mad. But when they have many mad people, they will know that we are serious. Age of four, I Alan Apokwani. Listen now. Because if you if you may strong head, I will call because you have lost it. If you do strong head, and you know that I know. And you know that I'm going to now. What I'm doing here is a matter of life and death of the leader of our nation. Promise ni nengelo nyendu. Hi! He is running away. He says Simon Ekpa is after him. I'm not after you. You are not our problem. But you know the evil you have done is the one chasing after you. Commanders you have killed are the one chasing after you. The people you killed in this struggle, innocent people that was fighting, you deceived some people to kill them. They are the people chasing you, not me. And when you hear them saying this thing, they will go and tell their irat. Samanepa is nobody. Samanepa is nobody. Yet, you are running away claiming that Samanepa is chasing after you. How can I chase after you from Finland? I am not chasing after you. You are not my problem. My problem is Nigeria government. We want to fight them to get our freedom. We want to fight them to release Mazenam. This is my problem. The problem I have with you people is that you killed Biafrans. That's all. You killed Biafrans. And you know them. The people that disobeyed you, you killed them. Why should you kill them? Why should you kill them? So, I don't know. We thank you very much. All the kids are today. I don't know who are not today in a super chat. A uh, for like some of our American lawyers who will not support our Biafra restoration is charge and bail lawyer. <laughs> exactly. So what I'm trying to say is that a for the reason why I am making this comment is that if I unto wako yiba unto wangugwa. Ebe gas we puta, ebe three million na henge gis we puta. Nto e, nto e pia. Ima na, you know, nto e pia, nto e pia. Oge sis. Nka kapugodo. I am just, I am just, you know, I am just saying things that doesn't even matter yet because I can we more secret that will throw entire Biafra astray. So. The reason why I'm doing this is that age of four, you are sabotaging Mazin Namdi Kano. And the, let me tell you, if not for, let me not just even go to exposing the sabotage in the secret. Okay. I am not going to as, 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 as expose that one yet, but let me expose the sabotage that is open, the sabotage that everybody knows. The sabotage that is in the open. Let me start telling you, Ejofo, one after the other, the sabotage that is in open. One is that when Onyendu was kidnapped, you don't have no right to interfere in the way Biafra people, which Onyendu is leading, want to react on hearing that particular evil criminal activities and act against him by Nigeria government. It is not your business. How Biafrans, for example, me, Simon Ekpa, it is not your business how I want to react to the fact that Onyendu that I am following has been kidnapped. It is not you that will tell me how I am going to react. It is not you, a Jofa, that will go to tell Biafrans that how they should react. It is not your business, but you did it. A Jofa, 
you did it in secret. It's your fault you contacted men on ground and tell them to everybody should calm down. It's your fault why we were trying to make Biafras to rise up against this impunity. It's your fault you were telling the men on ground to calm down that Oyendo will come out tomorrow. Oyendo will come out next tomorrow. Have Oyendo come out? The answer is no. So why did you do that? So it's your fault. I'm just telling you now the open betrayal of Oyendo. And then also I'm telling you even if Oyendo tell you a job for that he had that Biafra are sitting at home and I he wants that Biafra should not sit at home. A job for you will tell Onyen the normal person if you are not compromised is to tell Onyen do that. Onyen do you know people don't listen to me. You know my business here is to defend you in Nigeria court. So if I go to start you know, mingling myself into this onion do say you should stop sitting at home. Onion do say, you know, it is going to cause a lot of problem, which it is causing now. But because you have promised the governors and the politicians that you are going to control IPOB, therefore, you are even advising onion do that we should cancel sit at home. Because your action when onion do say Simon Epa should pilot the affair of Biafra until I come out. You say over your dead body is the highest betrayer. You did not know what Onyendu saw in me. You didn't know what Onyendu saw in me. You did not know what I was discussing with Onyendu. You have never been part of our meeting when Onyendu was not uh, kidnapped. So why would Onyendu give you order for Simon Epa to pilot the affair and then you say over your dead body? It's a betrayer of the highest order. I am giving Biafrance point by point open betrayer. My word, that brings us to the end of this beautiful update. Do wait to like this video, share and subscribe. The best thing for you to do is to join this family by smashing on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.